Hi everybody, today I have an algebra question for you. So it is given that x, y and z are real numbers that satisfies these equations which is x is equals to under root of y square minus 1 by 16 plus under root of z square minus 1 by 16 and y is equals to under root of z square minus 1 by 25 plus under root of x square minus 1 by 25 and finally z is equals to under root of x square minus 1 by 36 plus under root of y square minus 1 by 36 then find the value of x plus y plus z so please give your trial to this question and keep watching for the solution now to make it Question more easier to understandable let a is equals to 1 by 4 b is equals to 1 by 5 and c is equals to 1 by 6 so putting these values so after that x is equals to under root of y square minus a square plus under root of z square minus a square similarly y is equals to under root of z square minus b square plus under root of x square minus b square and finally z is equals to under root of x square minus c square plus under root of y square minus c square. Now here are our equations. Now considering this x equation and then subtracting both sides by under root of z square minus a square and then squaring both sides and second step using a plus b whole square formula so we get this which is x square plus z square minus a square minus 2 times x times under root of z square minus a square is equals to y square minus a square. Now adding both sides a square so we get x square plus z square minus 2 times x times under root of z square minus a square is equals to y square. Let it be our equation first. Now looking this z equation and then subtracting both sides by under root of x square minus c square and then squaring both sides and second step using a plus b whole square formula so we get this and now adding both sides positive c square so we get z square plus x square minus 2 times z times under root of x square minus c square is equals to y square let it be our equation second now looking in equation first and second rhs is y square in both equation so equating these both equation we get this now subtracting both sides by x square and z square so we get this now dividing both sides by negative of 2 so we get this and then squaring both sides so we get x square times z square minus a square is equals to z square times x square minus c square now opening the parenthesis so we get this now subtracting both sides by x square times z square and then we get this now under rooting both sides so we get x times a is equals to z times of c now write this important result in the corner and back to our equations now considering this x equation again and this time subtracting both sides by under root of y square minus a square and then squaring both sides and second step using a plus b whole square formula so we get this x square plus y square minus a square minus 2 times x times under root of y square minus a square is equals to z square minus a square now adding both sides positive of a square so we get this equation in terms of z now considering this y equation and subtracting both sides by under root of x square minus b square and then squaring both sides and similarly using a plus b whole square formula in second step and after substitution we get y square plus x square minus 2 times y times under root of x square minus b square is equals to z square 
Now equating these both equations we get, so we get this and subtracting both sides by x square and y square, so we get this. Now squaring both sides, so we get this and after subtracting both sides by y square times x square, so we get this and then under rooting both sides, so we get x times a is equals to y times of b. And write this important result also in the corner. And now looking at x times of a is equals to z times of c and x times of a is also equals to y times of b. So we can say that z times of c is equals to y times of b. Now we back to our equations and looking at this x equation, we already found the value of y in terms of x and also the value of z in terms of x. And we let that a is equals to 1 by 4, b is equals to 1 by 5 and c is equals to 1 by 6. Now putting these values, so we get x times of 1 by 4 is equals to z times of 1 by 6. So 6 times of x by 4 is equals to z. Similarly, x times of 1 by 4 is equals to y times of 1 by 5. So 5 times of x by 4 is equals to y. Now putting these values and after some substitution and then multiplying both sides by 4, we get 4x is equals to under root of 25x square minus 1 plus under root of 36x square minus 1. Now squaring both sides and using a plus b whole square formula. Now using a plus b whole square formula, so we get 16x square is equal to 25x square minus 1 plus 36x square minus 1 plus 2 times of under root of 25x square plus 1 times 36x square plus 1. Now after some substitutions and then dividing both sides by 2 and using a plus b whole square formula after squaring both sides. So we get this and now opening the parenthesis, so we get this. Now multiplying both sides by 4, so we get 2025x to the power 4 plus 4 minus 180x square is equal to 36,000x to the power 4 minus 224x square plus 4. Now subtracting both sides 4 and then take x square as common. Now dividing both sides by x square, so we get 2025x square minus 180 is equal to 36,000x square minus 224. So we get now 64 is equal to 1575x square. So x is equal to 8 divided by 15 under root 7. Now use this the value of x to find the values of y and z. Now we find the value of x which is equals to 8 by 15 under root 7. Now using the relationship between x and z which is x times of 1 by 4 is equal to z times of 1 by 6. So after putting the value of x we get z is equal to 4 by 5 under root 7. Similarly, x times of 1 by 4 is equal to y times of 1 by 5. After putting the value of x, we get y is equal to 2x divided by 3 under root 7. Write these values in the corner. We have to find the value of x plus y plus z. So putting these values and take 1 by under root 7 as common and using simple LCM, we get this. So 1 by under root 7 times 2 by 1. So x plus y plus z is equal to 2 by under root 7. And that is our correct answer. And please send me questions on email. My email ID is yourmathguy1910 at the rate gmail.com.